Welcome. Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Sometimes, a surplus of something can lead to unexpected complications. Imagine you've ordered a mountain of pizza, only to realize you've bitten off more than you can chew. Or picture yourself drowning in an abundance of free time, slowly going stir-crazy. These situations teach us that too much of a good thing can be, well, not so good. This principle extends to the world of sports, especially in the NBA. It's not uncommon for a team to find itself with an overabundance of players of a certain type. When this happens, someone inevitably ends up sidelined, watching from the bench. Even having an excess of star players can be a double-edged sword. Imagine having an NBA superstar as your 11th man, it's a costly benchwarmer. Now, let's talk about the Brooklyn Nets, a team loaded with three and D wings. Mikal Bridges, Cameron Johnson, Royce O'Neal, Dorian Finney-Smith, that's quite a lineup. But is it too much of a good thing? It's a puzzle figuring out how all these talented players will fit into the rotation. Could they potentially trade someone like Finney-Smith to the Lakers to resolve the overcrowding issue? But here's a more complex question. Can a team ever have too much playmaking? The short answer is probably not. Playmaking is a precious skill. However, there's a catch. Playmakers need to complement each other. It's not just about ball dominance, it's also about shooting ability. Consider this scenario. A playmaker who can't shoot well typically requires the ball to make things happen. Yes, you can design plays for them to cut and move without the ball but that's not a long-term solution. A non-shooting playmaker tends to dominate the ball, potentially causing friction when surrounded by other playmakers. The Lakers learned this lesson the hard way with the Russell Westbrook LeBron James experiment. So, dear fans, what's your take on this? Can a team ever have too much of a good thing, be it 3 and D wings or playmaking maestros? Share your thoughts.